Ju. Praise be to Yah. Praise the Most High Elohim of God. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let the saints praise him right now. Yeah. Let the saints praise him right now. Yeah, have mercy. Have mercy, 
We cry unto you, Father. We hear your voice. We seek your face. We just want to be delivered. And the saints shall say, Padalanu. Padalanu. Deliver us from this captivity, Father. Deliver us from this captivity. Deliver us from this pain. Deliver us from this pain. Deliver us from this suffering. Deliver us from this suffering. Deliver us from ourselves. Deliver us from ourselves. Zakar Habari. Zakar Habari. Remember the covenant. Remember the covenant. That you made with us, Father. That you made with us, Father. So we bow our heads before you, Father. And we lift up our hands to the Shamayim, Father. And we call upon your holy name, Yahuwah. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yehoshu. Yehoshu. Hamashiach. Hamashiach. Deliver us, Father. Deliver us, Father. Return us back to that Adamic body. Return us back to before we even knew what sin was. And so on this given day, Father, we say we commit. We commit ourselves to you, Father, as a living sacrifice. For you said on this day, the first day of the seventh month, shall we have a burnt offering. So we give ourselves to you, Father, as that burnt offering. Never to turn our back on you again. Never to reconsider what Babylon has for us, Father. Hallelujah. We rebuke this demon, Father. We bind up every wicked spirit and principality in wicked high places. We cast down Hashitah and his soldiers. For we know we got your legions of angels around us. Singing and praising. Forsaking the covenant that you have made with our forefathers Abraham. Father, in this moment I'll be not prideful, but I feel like I'm not even worthy to stand before you. So I ask the congregation to kneel before the Most High. Father, in this moment, as we kneel before you, we give you thanks for accepting this celebration in which you yourself have ordained us to do. Father, you are so humble that you you accept a gift that you have given us. This is not for us, Father, but for you. Father, this congregation and this gathering are gathering in a time where wickedness is prevailing across the earth. And your select few have traveled far to come in your presence. So we ask the congregation to scream and shout a praise of hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. hallelujah. person under the sound of my voice get to partake in the spiritual festivity not the food father salak for what I'm about to say but besides the spiritual camaraderie in this room the food is nothing father 
It's crazy. nothing compared to the spiritual things that are king. I ask that every spirit is fed, not just our flesh. Father, I ask that the spirit that's in me this second is transferred in this room. Father, let your angels compass around us. Let each and every soul partake in this, Father. It is truly good. It is truly good, Father. I give thanks. Blessed Lord. be your name, O Yah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yahweh, I thank you for giving us the opportunity to bless your presence and come together as one community in unison. And all worship and praise to you. We all give you authority to reign over our lives and we serve you diligently with our whole heart and our whole mind and oneness and unison with your son. Hallelujah. Yah, yeah, I thank you for keeping your promise and not leaving us hopeless and helpless and, and leaving us without remembrance of you in this land and this heathen nation. Hallelujah. Yeah. I want you to continue to guide us and still in us and bold the spirit so when we speak, give us the wisdom to speak so we can wake up the other lost sheep that are, that are in this nation that don't understand the truth. Hallelujah. Us, Hallelujah. Brattle our tongues and brattle our minds and our, our, our hands to where we can work and build kingdoms that you want us to build in your glory to where it will be pleasing to you, Yah. Oh, Yah, praise Yahweh. Or not even nowhere, nowhere near equal to yours, Yahweh. So we need you. We need your guidance. We need your wisdom. We need everything that you, that you gave to your son. We need all of that wisdom, Yah. So you can guide us out of this captivity, Yah. We have faith in you, Father. We have faith in your son. We have faith in our ancestors. Let's be your holy name, Father. Father. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for giving us all of your peace up except our praise. All these things are asking you in your whole shoe's name. Yeah, I want you to bind the enemy. Bind the enemy that wants us to stray left and stray, stray left from your doctrine. Keep our, yeah. our pathways narrow. As we give up praise, I want you to bring us deliverance and bring us more wisdom as we praise you will draw us even much more closer to you. To the way that you do things, the way that you, you made this earth. Let us see the mysteries and understand the knowledge that you that you that you have for us and take advantage of it and know how to put it into our lives. Bless our generations, our children that we don't even have yet, the ones we do have. Bless them. Oh, yeah. So where they can be obedient to your will and your will shall be done. All these things I ask for you and hope you by Hashem who I got for that. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Everyone just breathe. Breathe. Father, open the gates. charge to this angel to bring out his scroll that he may write this message and send it to you on behalf of the congregation. Father, when we depart, bring down your precious angels to guide us and revoke us of our own thoughts for the heart is desperately wicked. And set a dome about us as we go about our days that no deceitful spirit may enter our minds and deceive us from your path, Father. Yeah. And after that be done, allow your Ruach HaKadosh to speak to us, Father, everybody in this room. For don't you want all of us to repent? So, Father, I ask you to give us all your Ruach HaKadosh and allow it to permeate Allow it to stop us from doing things that we know we better than. The same voice that I hear, Father, give it to them. That they may serve you at a higher level, Father. For the serpent beguiled Eve, Father. And she disobeyed your voice, Father. And she brought her home to Adam, Father. But we did as well. For this be the downfall of men. 
And as Ezra said, it be Adam's fault. But no, Father, it is our faults today. Because a lot of us have gotten your truth years ago, but we still make the same mistakes, Father. So how could we blame Adam? When we were given the same opportunity as Adam, yet we continue to fall. Father, how do we be worthy of a kingdom so glorious? Mansions, Father, made of gold. Streets made of jasper. I don't even know what that looks like, Father. I've never seen a jasper stone, Father. I've never seen a gold street, Father. How do we be worthy of such gifts? How do we make it there? Come on. Yeah. May the congregation praise him. Praise you. Yeah, yeah. 
Everybody turn and face each other. Everybody turn and face each other. Everybody turn and face each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want all of these babies in the center of this room. Every baby, every child. Back. Every baby. Move the chairs back. Every, every baby. Right here. Watch the camera, y'all. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. Move the chairs back, y'all. Move the chairs back. Every baby. Every baby. Somebody move that blue chair back, brother. Bring slow more here, too. Will them over. Watch your foot. Watch your foot. And every one of you, everything you do, everything you do, it's got to be for them. Every breath you take, got to get out of being selfish. Got to get out of it. Giving us the power to do it. All we gotta do is be willing to do it. We're gonna pray for these babies. Sister Mina, I want you to come over here. I want you to get right in front of them. Come over here, right here. I want, all this, I want all the sisters to come in. The sisters are going to surround the, the children, and we're going to surround our sisters.
Abba Yahoo, we just want to thank you for this day, Father. We thank you just for waking us up this morning, Father, in the physical, Father. We thank you, Abba Yahoo, for waking us up in the spiritual as well, Father. We thank you, Abba Yahoo, for opening our minds to the truth, Father. We thank you, Abba, for allowing us and showing us, Father, that we need to turn back, for giving us an opportunity to turn back, Father, and for showing us how to turn back, Father, for your grace, Father. We thank you for your boy, our heart of death, Father, your set apart spirit, Father, that you gave us as a gift, Father, to lead us and guide us and teach us, Father, uh, in the truth, to your truth, Father, and ultimately back home, Father. Uh, we thank you, Abba, Yahuwah, for the righteous generation that you are raising up, Father, this generation, Father that we have a great opportunity uh, with, Father, to teach your truth, Father, to teach properly, Father, uh, to show them how to meditate on your word, to meditate on your truth, Father, to live a set-apart life, Father, an opportunity that many of us did not have as children, Father. So we, we take on, uh, we take on that gift, Father, that opportunity, and also that heavy burden, Father, of raising these children correctly and righteousness, Father. We make a vow today, I make a vow today, Father, and my brothers stand with me in this vow, Father, that we will raise our children according to your word. Hallelujah. That we will uh, treat our wives fairly, Father. Yeah. That we will be teachers of our wives. Yeah. Because they are our children's teachers. Yeah. That we will be pillars in our home. Uh, yeah. We will in our community. Uh, yeah. We will show our children what brotherhood and sisterhood looks like. Uh, yeah. We will show them what love and looks like. Uh, uh, yeah. By keeping your command. Uh, uh, yeah. And y'all sure how to share our today, Father. We pray for every one of these children, Father, uh, to be refreshed, Father, to be renewed, Father, to uh, learn to love you, Father. We know, Abba Yahuwah, that none of these children are ours. Even our very own seeds are not ours, Father, but they belong to you, Father. Yeah. So we give our children back, Father. We give them back, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we take on this role of stewardship very seriously, Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. We do not take it lightly, Father. These children belong to you, Father. Have mercy on us, Father. May we be humble in our parenting. Hallelujah. None of us got the manual. Many of us, Father, come from uh, diverse backgrounds and different broken homes, Father. But these children, Father, I pray that these children, Father, will be raised, Father, in, in a way that we did not have the opportunity yeah. to, Father. Hallelujah. 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 And we teach them uh, your word, Father. Speak about these things when we wake up in the morning, when we lie down, Father, when we come and when we go. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach, we pray. Amen. Amen. From here on out. May become our leaders, leaders, women and children. And this is representative of everything and everybody in Israel. And it's my belief that this spirit that is on this assembly is going throughout Israel right now. Hallelujah. 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 Right there. Take it 
That was why Dawi was so great. And that's exactly why Dawi was so great. Through all his sins and his iniquities, his heart always was with Yah. He prayed with y'all, he talked with y'all, he laughed and cried with y'all. We got to get back to that. We no longer have to be this tough guy. We're children of light. We don't have to put on a facade anymore. Our works speak for themselves. Y'all speaks through us. I mean, we were creating this likeness, right? We no longer have to shout, scream, claw. For identity no more. We all realize it's very evident who the children of Israel is. Seriously, clap it up for y'all, sir. The world knows who the children of Israel is. The world knows who you are. I was just telling Brother Bless about this last night. I mean, I was telling my mama, mama got arrested in Israel. <laughs> They know who we are, and they're scared. They're scared. Because when you understand who you are, you now take back your power. You understand? And so we're in that season. It's no longer asking for it. Y'all is trying to allow us to receive it. And he's bringing in these new people who are all about the spirit. They're no longer going just by words. They're going by the spirit. He's putting the spirit of Torah in people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't that beautiful? He's putting the spirit of Torah in people. Look at these beautiful people. Only been what? A month? And they so grounded and so con 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 confirmed to who y'all is, they don't even know everything. But you would think they know a lot. Yeah. Got the young brothers, Kanaka, Zakaya. Y'all stand up real quick. Stand up. <laughs> My brothers is 18, 19, 18, 21. 21. When I say these boys, he's cleaning them whistles. <laughs> and y'all brought them in the truth just in time. I mean, really, look at all these young people here. A lot of these majority actually is 30 and 20. <laughs> 30 years old, 20 years old, elder, he's 30 years old in spirit. But, <laughs> 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 but seriously, when have y'all seen this? Y'all 20 years old. Some of y'all don't even know what y'all doing with y'all life, but y'all know it's with y'all. Right? I know it's y'all because y'all heard the call. Y'all heard the call. Y'all were directly contacted by y'all. Do you understand that? You're the most high head. I told Elder, was it two weeks ago? I said, man, the most high is in the earth. He ain't sitting there. Remember, the scriptures tell you in Hosea 15 and 5. He's gonna send in his throne until we make, until we take responsibility for our actions. And what I just saw today, I think we just took full responsibility, right? I saw people crying 
I saw people yelling, shouting. I saw people on their knees. Right at the throne of Yah. Weeping. I saw women weeping like that weathered woman. Remember that weathered woman was crying out for Israel. I saw that in this room today. And I know y'all heard the Malachim. I know y'all heard the angels in here. The angels are monsters right now, man. Y'all ain't feeling that, y'all might want to leave now, because they ain't letting no negative energy in here. <laughs> right? Man. I ain't want to get a lesson no more. <laughs> y'all done did the whole thing. <laughs> Nah, let's get it, man. So today, we are going to go over Yom Tuharah. The point in time. The point in time. <laughs> of trumpets. But we're going to call it this today, the point in time, time of crying out loud. Right? Let's waste no more time. Leviticus 23 and 1. Leviticus 23 and 1. I want everybody to read today. If you got it, just start reading. Leviticus 23 and 1. Yom to Hurrah. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the children, concerning the feast of the Lord, which he shall proclaim to be holy uh, convocations, even these are my feasts. Even these are his feasts. So he told us we need to gather together with our people. And what you'll see during each and every feast or, or, or memorial, it was representing us coming together, either praying, fighting, or leaving together. Right? And so it's very important in this captivity to make all feasts a memorial of the great works that Yah did for the children of Israel. Okay? Amen. And so today we're gonna we're gonna have that memorial. We're gonna we're gonna see how how do we apply this to today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, hop down to verse 24. Verse Speak unto the children of Israel saying in the seventh month in the first day of the month shall you have a Sabbath. Uh -huh. A memorial of blowing of trumpets. Right. So we'll start right there. So we treat we treat the memorial and the blowing of the trumpets like a Shabbat. The same rules apply. Of course, you know, depending on how you do it, some people cook. Right? It's okay to cook on that day. It's a feast. So we feast. Or it's a, you know what I mean? We, we come together and, and, we, and, we, and we celebrate and we cry and we pray together. And we enjoy one another, allowing ourselves to detach from the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it says, speak unto the children of Israel, Israel, in the seventh month on the first day of the month, as y'all know, this weekend was a three high, high holy day Shabbaton. So we had new moon, right? And we had the a regular weekly Sabbath. And then we had Feast of Trumpets, which is today. And so it... it I don't know about y'all, but to me, it's been a spiritual transition this whole weekend. Mm -hmm. Something has transitioned. Even if you don't see it, something has transitioned into your life or out of your life. Mm -hmm. And it's for a purpose. Because he, whatever it was, whether it be put in your life or out of your life, it was to, for you to recognize the call. It's a purpose of why we're here today. reason why you got to me next week. So now... Whatever iniquity you got to get out yourself to receive this cover, you can do it by atoning for your sins and for the nation. And so this is a special feast because as we all went through before, we were alive, of the importance of the call. Whether well, that is to remember how he brung you from the world, took you by your shirt or your dress and plucked you out of the world to rest within him. Whether well, that be in remembrance of the wars that took place or that warning that's coming as we see against nation, right? Nation shall rise against nation, right? Rumors of wars. We're hearing that right now, right? In the midst. You know what else is crazy? This year will be considered a jubilee. 
If y'all know anything about Jubilee, which we're going to, it's a release. So think about how long the truth been in America to this day. According to scripture, after, after 49 years, 50 years, we're supposed to be released. Does that mean we're going to be physically released? Or is most how breaking them chains for spiritual bondage? You no longer can, can lean on the curses anymore to say why we stuck in our place. <laughs> we no longer can lean on that no more. We're going to go off the 400 year prophecy is passed already. So what's next? What's next? 400 years is passed, according to on, on record. It's passed. So what do we do next? What do we do next? And as a people, we got to start thinking more practical and logical. Okay? Mm -hmm. So to hurrah, to hurrah, it means to alarm, an acclamation of joy, a battle of crying, a shout, and rejoicing, a sound. Does that mean it's just by trumpet? Or a shofar? Mm -hmm. Who can give me other ways of sounding the trumpet or blowing the shofar? Singing. Singing. What up? Shouting. Dancing. Dancing, yes. What up? Crying out loud. Crying loud, praying. Performing my breath. Oh, uh, we did that today. I hope y'all felt that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel a release. I feel like, some, like somebody was playing names or you playing Y'all felt that release? Mm -hmm. We can no longer play games, y'all. This is not a game. This ain't no more playing house with the house of Israel. You either going to help build the house or you just going to move out the way. Everybody got to put their brick in. Okay? Amen. All right, so this is the season, that, like we went over, this is the season of calling, of repentance, of atonement. And I believe this is a spiritual exodus. It's a spiritual exodus. But we're no longer being called a, a, a byword anymore. We're no longer accepting the way that they think in their school system anymore. We starting to step up. And most I even, it even is showing it in the, the Hebrew Gentiles, you know what I mean? The ones who Hebrews but don't know the Hebrew, mm -hmm. by way of how they're thinking. Mm -hmm. We're starting to transition back to our own way and custom, right? And so we gotta be there when these people need answers. Now that they left the world, what do we do? What do we do now? And so we got to be there to answer the call. That was our duty, right? Mashiach's duty was called only come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now you're talking. Go ahead and say. What's up, man? I heard what Huh? That good. What's that guy? So, with that. If we're going to call and shout for the children of Israel to come in, we got to give them a place to go. Okay. We can no, we can no longer just say, sit here and say we got to keep the law, statutes, commandments, feast days, and all that. Okay. Yeah. But how do I get my son to stop thinking like a Gentile if he's still in school systems? How do I get my son to rec uh, recognize Hebrew culture if I'm still dressed like a Gentile? How do I get my son away from these feast day, or away from these holidays, and we're not having a real convocation? How do I teach my son about a nation when we don't have unity? It's time to be about action and no longer talking. Are you here to hear the call? Are you, were you called or were you chosen to understand Yah's love language? Y'all follow me? So let's go. Let's understand this thing about trumpets. And even like I was speaking on the Jubilee. Leviticus 25. Leviticus 25, let's start at 8. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 8. And it reads, And thou shalt number seven Sabbaths of years unto thee, seven times seven years. Mm. 
in space of the seven Sabbaths of years shall be until the forty and nine years. And how long has this truth been in America? About that time, right? About forty nine years. Come on. Then thou then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day mm. of the seventh month. Right. So now that we recognize this time of release, we have to start processing ourselves to be released first. Then comes atonement. Right? We have to be cleansed. We have to be, if we're going to be released, what are we being released from? Because remember, once you were released, you were given a reward. Right? Once the servant was released, they were given, you know, food or, or wife, whatever the case is, right? So, if we're supposed to receive a reward, i.e. the kingdom, that means obviously we have to go through a release process. Therefore, we have to understand what Yah is distinctly saying we got to do. So if you have an alt against the brother, you better fix it. If you don't like dealing with sisters, you better fix it. Or you don't like gathering and doing productive work, you better get to it. Because Yah is not dealing with lackadaisical people. He's sending his son back for an unblemished bride. You understand? When they was in the wilderness, they were working. They built them tents and boots up. Some of us won't even sweep the flow. Let alone be able to put some work in for y'all. It take more than just talking. It's, the, it's about doing. Like we were saying, what are we going to leave our children? Right? What are we, we going to leave our children? Can we all say we've done enough in this room? Huh? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And a lot of it is based on those who got children, what you've done for your children. Just keep reading. In the day of atonement shall you make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. You should do what? Make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. And so it's our duty to sound off that the children of Israel is no longer turn into other Elohim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're no longer turn into the custom of the heathen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are no longer turning our back on our God. Hallelujah. 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 Right? So it's time for us to wake up, hear the alarm clock, and get to work. Second edge of six, right? And so now we're going through this spiritual jubilee. And as y'all see today, it's time for us to cry out. It's no longer holding back and just sitting in, sitting in your closet. We out here now. You're going to know that the children of light is here. You can do whatever. You can take our limbs. You can take our head, our foot, but our spirit our spirit going to still reside here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're no longer going to feed us your ideology. You're no longer going to give us your food to move like you, to turn against our brother. There no longer be a delicate man who has an evil eye towards his brother. But we're going to love our brother. You can argue with me all day, but at the end of the day, I'm going to give you a hug, brother. Okay? Mm. Second Edger 6. So for those who hear the calling, this is what you're going to see. Second Edger 6. We're going to start at 1. And he said unto me, In the beginning, when the Adex was made, before the borders of the world stood over or over the winds blew. That's right. So this is, this is the most high talking to Ezra. The, the one who heard the call and the one who, who had to do what he had to do so he can hear the voice of that. So he's reminding him what happened. Come on. For a thunder and lightning, lighting, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid. He won. For the fair flowers were seen or over the before. Slide. For the fair flowers were seen or over. The movable powers were established before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together. Or over the heights of the air were lifted up before the measures of the firmament were named. Or, or ever the, the chimneys in Sion were hot. I mean, he's, he's reminding Ezra, before all this happened, before I laid any foundation on the earth, come on. In the eerie, the present years were sought out in or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed that have gathered faith for a treasure. Ooh, wait. 
come on. Then did I consider then these did things. Then did I consider these things. Come on. And they are and they all were made through me alone. Uh-huh. And through none other. Come on. But my by, by me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Mm-hmm. Come on. Then answered I and said, What shall be the party asunder of the times? But when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed? So now he's asking, well, what's going to be our sign? What's, how do we know when the end is going to start the beginning? Right? Come on. And he said unto, unto me from Abraham, unto Isaac, unto Jacob, and Esau were born. Of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Come on. For Esau is the end of the world. And what? And Yaakov is the beginning He's of the world. He's telling y'all, at the end, you get your reward. He that endureth to the end shall be what? Saved. Saved. Let's say it again. He that endureth to the end shall be what? Saved. Saved. That means what? We got to be on alert. As you call it, the watchman, right? Okay. We got to be watchmen, brothers. Because we got to let our people know that the Messiah is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot sit here idle anymore. We can no longer just sit here and just read. We got to put in work. We got to fast. We got to pray. We got to grab brother by the collar and say, brother, repent. Hallelujah. Repent ye for the kingdom is at what? Man. Come on now. Come on. The hand of, of man is between the hill and the hand of other questions. Ezra asked, thou not. Uh -huh. I answered then and said, oh, I do not. Thy bearest rule if I have found favor in thy sight. Come on. I beseech thee, show thy servant the end of thy tokens, whereof thou showedest me part of the last night. Uh -huh. So he answered and said unto me, Stand up upon thy feet, and hear a mighty sound, a Do mighty what? sounding voice. Stand up upon thy feet and hear the mighty sound of Yah. Are you standing up ready for him? Or are you sitting idle? I'm going to ask y'all again. Are y'all standing up, waiting for that call, or are you sitting idle? Standing, standing up. up. Huh? Standing up. Kum Yisrael, right? Kum Yisrael, rise up, Yisrael. Right? We have to rise up to the occasion. So we were called. Do y'all understand how special you are? That the Most High chose you like a lily out of the grass. Hallelujah. And say, you are going to be the very component that represents me. Mm. You understand that? Mm. Come on. And it shall be as it were a great motion. Mm. But the place where thou standest shall not be moved. And therefore when he spake it, be See, not afraid. Don't be afraid of the call. It may be a voice that you've never heard before. But if you're still enough, if you're ready enough, you'll understand distinctly who's speaking to you. Whether it be by Yah himself or an angel. Because even the angel said, I come in the name of who? Yah. I come in the name of who? Yah. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because we all heard that same voice, which is why we're here today. Now the question is, are we going to hear that voice at the end? You feel me, huh? <laughs> Come on. For the word is of the end, and the foundation of the earth is understood. Mm, so the, for the word is of the end. So obviously what we need to do is in this book. This is going to tell us everything we need to know on how to move. Okay? okay? Come on. And why? Because the speech of these things tremble and is moved. Come on. For it knoweth that the end of things must be changed. Must be what? Must be changed. So what y'all going through, what y'all went through this week, don't mean nothing. It's going to change. But the question is, are you going to change? Or are we going to stay on the straight and narrow path? Or are we going to stay connected? Or are we going to stay on this narrow path? We're not going to be tossed to and fro like strange doctrine. We're not going to be that wavy boat in a, in a hurricane. You can throw whatever you want, a wheel, a car, but when we got y'all with us, can't nothing shake us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Come on. And it happened that when I had heard it, I stood upon upon my feet. Didn't we all stood up once we heard y'all really call us? We stood up. 
I'm talking about, I'm not talking about when you heard it. I'm talking about when you finally reach that first person and say, you were a children of Israel. Hallelujah. That's when you stood up. Come on. And hearken and behold. And you hearken and you held what? Come on. There was a voice that spake, and the sound of it was like the sound of many waters. We know what voice that is, right? Woo wee! Y'all feel me? She out here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ryan, it's over here. Come on, he's smiling right now. Come on. And it said, Behold, the day is come that I would begin to draw nigh. Mm, so he heard the voice like many waters and stood up tall. And so then he realized, like we know, the end times. Come on. And to visit them that dwell upon the Arets. Mm. And will begin to make in, 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 inquisition. And will begin to make an inquisition. Inquisition of. Inquisition. Oh, inquisition. You gotta make sure we understand. Inquisition. Oh, inquisition. Uh -huh. inquisition. Hallelujah. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Right, come on. Inquisition. Come on. Of them, what they be have that. Slot. What they be that have hurt unjustly. Oh, so them. now, we just talked about this, Elder. Yah is in the earth. To visit them that have been hurt unjustly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you going to hear the call? Are you going to know Yah's voice versus Hashitah's voice? Mm -hmm. Read that one more time, huh? And we'll begin to make inquisition of them. And make an inquisition of them. Come on. What they be that have hurt unjustly uh -huh. with their unrighteousness. Uh-huh. And when the affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled. So he's telling you. He's making sure that this time shall be fulfilled. And are you ready? Are you like the, the Israelites when they came out of Egypt still looking back? Mm -hmm. Like we talked about yesterday. Are you Lot's wife? Mm -hmm. You got the call to leave. Mm -hmm. To flee Babylon. Mm -hmm. Spiritually. Yet you still want to turn back. Mm -hmm. Come on man. Come on. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away it shall be finished. Ooh, hey. Come on. Then will I show thee tokens. Oh, man. This is your reward, those who heard the call. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all want that reward? Hallelujah. Y'all want to shine like a menorah? Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, man. The, the book shall be opened before the firmament. Woo! And they shall see all together. And who shall see all together? Come on. And the children... Of year old shall speak. Hey, you words. babies, listen up. The children that's one year old should even speak to you, parents. Come on. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children. Look at three. You. Come on. Come four, on. Four months old, and they shall live. And, and they shall raised. what? And be they raised shall up. Everybody say, Kum Israel. Kum Israel. Kum Israel. Kum Israel. Kum Israel. Kum Israel. You mothers and children are so important to our nation. Y'all are the backbone of our nation. So this whole thing that y'all don't talk to women is a lie. lie. Because they the ones that get us stiff necked Negroes in order. Everybody shall bow. Everybody. Come on. And be raised up. And be what? And raised be raised up. up. Come on. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. Ooh, baby. Come on. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So all these places they building up with man's hands shall be thrown down. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the trumpet. And shall the give what? A sound, and a trumpet. Come on. Shall give a sound which when every man hear it, they shall they shall be suddenly afraid. Mm -hmm. Come on. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. Oh wow. We see that today. Mm -hmm. Come on. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. They talking about having armies in this space. What do you think you about to do with y'all? He gave you the idea to create it just so he can show you he can't do it. He what gave you the idea. And you going to tell you going to destroy him with his own plan? Negro, please. Come on, man. Right. Come on. Springs of the foundation fountains shall stand still. The what? 
The springs of the fountains shall stand still. Come on. In three hours they shall not run. You ain't going nowhere. You can't run from God. Y'all can't run from yourself. Come on, man. Come on. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape. Who shall endure to the end shall escape. Shall escape in what? And see my salvation. And what? And see my salvation. Everybody say what? And see, see my salvation. <laughs> y'all trying to see salvation? Y'all better endure to the end. Don't y'all even think about turning back to the world. Yes. Can I add some wisdom real quick? Go ahead. If y'all flip back to the literally the chapter before it. Second Ezra 5 and 4. Uh -huh. And it reads, But if the Most High shall grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet. Mm -hmm. Now we know trumpet resembles what? War. Getting ready for war. Uh -huh. Scripture says nation shall fight against nation. So what was the first trumpet? World War I. Mm -hmm. Second trumpet, World War II. And now we're in the third. World War III has started already. It's here. They're not going to tell us right now because it's not. The, the conflict hasn't risen enough. But they're fighting. Yeah. It says that the sun shall shine, shall suddenly shine again in the night. It's supposed to be 12 hours of the night, so why is the sun going down at 8 and rising again at 6? That's only 10 hours. It says in the moon thrice in the day. The highest peaks of the, of the sun is what? 9 a.m., then it rises to 12, then it goes back down to 3, then it sets at 6, 8, around there. So at 9, 12, and 3, we can still see the moon. Yeah, we can. Yep. I've been seeing it. These I've are the last days. It's here. in the last days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, praise y'all, man. Hallelujah. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Yeah. We no longer keep it quiet about this no more, man. We're going to really bang on Esau the right way. We're going we gonna to really spiritually fight the warfare. And you know how we're going to do it? By shining our light. You can do whatever. We're going to be like that woman with seven sons. You can do whatever you're going to do, but you ain't going to take my spirit. Mm -hmm. All right? You ain't going to take my spirit. Come on. Because at the end of it, you can take my son, but they're going to meet me on the other side. <laughs> Come on. In the end of your world. Mm -hmm. In the end of your world. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's <laughs> in the end of your world. Read it again. Read it from the top. Who shall remain it from all these that I've told thee shall escape. Right. And see my salvation. And see my what? And see my salvation. And see my what? And see my salvation. And see my what? And see my salvation. And see his salvation, not your own. He gave it to you. You understand that? It don't matter if you're a Hebrew. It don't matter if you're Israel. You can still lose it. Your name don't, don't cover your salvation. It's your heart. Y'all feel me? Amen. Now read that from the top again. We shall remain it from all these. Come on. That I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation. Uh-huh. In the end of your world. In the end of your filthy, disgusting, wicked world shall end. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. And the men that, that are received shall see it. And well, the men I, that what? And the men that receive shall see it. So you were called to see and endure it, to get his salvation. Now you're going to be able to see it. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you've been trying to dig deeper within yourself, you're going to be able to see it. Yeah. Come on. Come on, I and the man that and the man that are received shall see it. Mm -hmm. Who have not tasted death. Who have not what? Tasted death. Do y'all realize you're alive? Can't. Y'all are no longer spiritually dead. Most high resurrected you from that. Praise the most high. Keep going. And have not tasted death from their birth. And the heart of the inhabitant shall be changed mm. and turned into another meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Mm. For the evil, for evil shall be put out. You'll no longer have to battle with your thoughts. Mm. You'll no longer have to battle with that thing that you were addicted to. That's a blessing. <laughs> and we all fight every day. Y'all cry because y'all trying to release that thing. 
Most I say you ain't gotta feel it no more. Just just continue to endure. Alright, you got a question? No. Okay. Go ahead, I'm. And the sea shall be quenched. Ooh, wee! As for, as for faith. As for your faith, come on. It shall flourish. Come on. Your corruption shall be overcome. Your corruption. This body that you in that's tainted shall be overcome. Come on. And the truth. And the what? And the truth. And the Mashiach. And the truth. And the Mashiach. And the truth. And the Mashiach. And the truth. Come on. Which have have been so long without fruit, without fruit, come on, shall be declared. Ooh and when he talked with me, behold, I looked by little and little upon before whom I stood. Oh, so now when you study little by little, what precept upon precept, line upon line, you get to know the Most High even more. Mm -hmm. So every day you take away from Most High not studying, you are literally corrupting your relationship with Him. Moment. First Corinthians 14. Did that hit y'all a little different? <laughs> I was reading it myself. I'm gonna jump down the seat, man. <laughs> First Corinthians 14 and 6. Right? And so now we have to understand and we have to be very still to be able to identify God's voice. The calling. The many waters, the voice of trumpets. It's going to be a time where we're no longer uncertain of that. Watch this. Come on. Come on. This is what? 8, 8, 7, 6. Oh, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 6. And you know God in. Now. Now. You are in verse 6? Verse 3. Oh, I'm sure. Let's get it, brother. Bricks. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, if I come to you speaking with tongues, come on. What shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation. So we should be only speaking by revelation. Come on. Or by knowledge. Or by knowledge. Come on. Or by prophesying. Or by prophesying of the return of the king. Come on. Or by doctrine. Or by what? What's the doctrine? Structural Torah. Instructions of Yah. Come on. And even things without life. Giving sound. Come on, give it what? Sound. Even things without life giving sound. Come on. Whether pipe or harp. Whether pipe or harp. Except they give a distinction in the sound. Except they give a distinction in the sound. Come on. How shall it be knowing what is pipe or harp? And so it had Yah ain't he not gonna leave you uncertain. Mm. He's not gonna leave you guessing if that was him or not. Because most of the time you gotta guess if that was him, it was not him. Mm. Okay. Okay. It was not him. And we can go a lot deeper on that spiritual side. But I'm trying to tell you, if you got to guess it, it was not him. Because Yah is very direct and distinct. He's not about to play games. He give a distinct and direct commandment. And that's it. Nothing less, nothing more. Come on. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound. Even the trumpet give an uncertain sound. Come on. Who shall prepare himself to the battle? So how you going to even know if, it, if it's an uncertain sound? How you going to know if it's real or not? That's why the scriptures say what? Be not dismayed. Because the heathens are dismayed at these types of things. We're supposed to know. What'd you say? We're supposed to what? We're supposed to know. Everybody said we're supposed to know. We're supposed, supposed to know. We're not, are, we, are we supposed to be called the children of light? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enlightening children? So we should know these things. Because we got forefathers who already prophesied about it. So why are we sitting here dismayed like the heathen? We see a... Uh, a solar eclipse, we think it's the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> we see a blood moon, we, we think it's about to go down. <laughs> no, most high said, be still. You won't know by my voice when I'm coming. Okay? Mm. okay? okay. Come on. So uh, likewise, you... My thing, though. Yeah. It's crazy because the Sons of Thunder was talking about these same scriptures. That's how, the most, that's how you know the most high is working right now. They were talking about the same how oh, was it? Hallelujah. Everybody's in one spirit. Everybody's in one spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So likewise, you, except ye utter by the tongue words, easy to be understood. Oh, you can start right there. All right, let's get this. Okay. Zephaniah 1 and 14. That, that scripture deep, too. Go ahead, bring it down. Go ahead, read that. So it says, so likewise, except 
Be uttered by the tongue, words easy to be understood. How shall it be known what is spoken? For you shall speak it unto the air. Brothers want to get precepts and they want to do the deepest of understandings. And they want to appear to be wise and appear to be smart. But if you're not talking the simple things like relating to a brother, you don't got to throw scripts at nobody. Right. You don't got to slay them with scripts and cut them and all of that nonsense. That cut somebody with a sword, that's nonsense. And, and that's you know, good that's, that's out of order. Most I deal with love and compassion and long suffering. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Okay. And that's what we're about. Nothing less, nothing more. We're supposed to be different. Most I always said, especially when we was among strangers, remember you were a stranger. Mm -hmm. So why are you yelling at Esau? Remember you were a stranger in Egypt. Remember you were in bondage. Remember you were crying out. See, we get this name and this identity. We forget all that. We go straight to King D uh, King no, Forget David. We go straight to Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> we go straight to Solomon. We don't know nobody else. We go straight to Solomon. Mm. Humble thyself. Mm. Most I say humble thyself greatly. Okay. He said, "Examine thyself before thy judge." Okay. We the reason. We the reason why we in this predicament. Man, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Rem hey, again, remember that. Remember that you are a stranger. Remember that you were in bondage, crying out for help. Because at the end of the day, you was there because of you. <clears throat> You was there because of you. Let's get Zephaniah. Zephaniah 1 and 14. Near is the great day of Yahuwah. Near and hurrying greatly, the noise of the day of Yahuwah. Let the mighty man then bitterly cry out. Hey, mighty man, he said you better cry out. Hallelujah. You better cry out, brothers. Hallelujah. Y'all better cry out, brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Both sides say, hey. He's coming back. He's sending his son on a cloud with a horse coming down like an eagle. Y'all see the, the speed of an eagle, boy? And you talking about a, a ton of horse. <laughs> that man said, I ain't coming back for peace, but I'm coming back with what? A sword. With a sword. What side, what side of that sword you going to be on? You better, what we'll ever say, you better consider your ways. Everybody say, consider your ways. 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 This, uh, you was a filthy rag. Everybody say, I'm a filthy rag. I'm a filthy rag. rag. We got to be honest with ourselves. We ain't right. Hallelujah. We ain't right. We, we might as well call ourselves can't get right. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. But we just can't get it. Can't get it right. We just came back to our identity still acting like fools. Can't get it right. right. <laughs> How you read the book about how the Pharisees said you still do the same thing? Mm. <coughs> That's called stupidity and chaos. Mm. Trying to do the same thing over expecting a new result. Mm. Are you going to hear the call? Are you going to hear the trouble? Most High is literally in this earth right now. And he's establishing his tabernacle. He's been establishing it. So he's just about to take those who we need to over there. And so he's telling you, in this call, Negro, you better repent. Because those who hear me is going to be covered. Tabernacle. Covered. But you're going to be right with your master. Hot your time. Read that from the top of your house. 14, Yes, please. Near is the great day of Yahuwah, near and hurrying greatly, the noise of the day of Yahuwah. Let the mighty man then bitterly cry out. Come on, y'all better cry out, brothers. Come on. Keep going out. That day is a day of wrath, a day of distress and mm. trouble, mm. a day of waste and ruin. He's telling you, y'all, he's calling you to understand what's to come. Why are you playing with this man like this? <laughs> Why are you playing with him like this? He didn't gave you all these chances, even when he took your behind from me, Egypt. And you still want to complain about man. You want to sit here and eat steak and shrimp fried rice. And he's trying to tell you, I'm trying to cleanse you with this detox from your iniquity. But because you love bondage so much, I'm going to leave you there. 
wondering for 40 years. 49 years in America, we've been knowing this truth, still doing the same thing. I'm going to say it again. Almost 49 years, the truth been in America, we still doing the same thing. We going around the mountain. We going around the mountain. So this is why we got to do this for our children, because they could be the one going into the land of milk and honey. We not. Come on. Can you read? We on verse 15. See, that day is a day of wrath, a day of distress and trouble, a day of waste and ruin, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of a shofar. A what? A shofar. Hey, y'all better listen. Come on. And sounding against the walled cities and against the corner towers. Mm. Right there. This kingdom shall fall. There's nothing you can do to save it. They have inherited wrath. Mm. I'm saying it again. The heathen have inherited wrath. So why focus on them? <laughs> and inheritance, that's something promised to you. They have inherited a buck whooping. They have inherited death itself. And death is going with it. So why focus on Benjamin? I'm going with it. Seriously. So why worry about them? We ain't got to bang on them no more. Let's bang on these demons. Trying to cut us off from being a nation. This is a spiritual war flare. Y'all just looking too much at this. This don't mean nothing. Isaiah didn't feel it. That boy was tapped in the spirit realm so, so that he ain't feel none of that death that he had for him. And he took it cheerfully. Listen, most I ain't playing. And I ain't trying to get in the way of that either. Joel. Joel chapter 2. Brother said, me either. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm going to be at Brother Williams. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm she out there. That was that brother right there. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to feel that. Joel 2. Who got that, brother? Blow a shofar in Sion. Mm. And sound an alarm in my set apart mountain. And do what? Sound an alarm in my set apart mountain. Period. Keep going. Let all the inhabitants of the earth tremble, for the day of Yahuwah is coming. The what? For the day of Yahuwah is coming, for it is near. You cannot stop. You cannot stop. And the thing, you know, the crazy thing about that, is, he said, "Blow ye the trumpet to Zion." Mm -hmm. He talking directly to you. So if you miss it, it was never meant for you. It said, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in my holy city. My mouth. The alarm is sound. The awakening is happening. Listen, it's happening now. We've been, we awakened, but the real awakening is happening. Mm -hmm. The children of Israel been woke, but the children of light is now woke. Mm -hmm. It's a difference. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Ezekiel 33 and 1. Ezekiel 33 and 1. Again, the word of the Adonai came unto me saying, Son of man. Speak to the children of the people, of thy people, and say unto them. Read that again. Right. Let's, let's be very direct who's talking here. Come on. Again, the word of the Adonai came unto me, saying, Son of man. Son of man. Speak to the children of thy people. Who's his people? Israel. He's speaking directly to you. So how did you miss it? How did you miss the calling? Come on. And say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land. Upon what? Upon a land. Ain't no getting around. Come on. If the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. Mm. If the people, Elder always talking about having a watch party. And we set watchmen around to hear the calling, which we did in the day. We, this is how we knew what season was, what feast it was. Mm -hmm. 
what time of the month it was. So if we go according to scripture of setting these righteous watchmen to watch for the nation, then what? Come on. If when you see the sword come upon thee, so now you're going to be able to see the Mashiach come. Come on. Land, he blow the trumpet. He what? Trumpet. And do what? And warn the people. Come on. And who will ever hear it, the sound of the trumpet and take not warning. And take not what? Not warning. Everybody say, many are called. Many, many are, are called. called. Few are chosen. Few, Few are, are chosen. chosen. Many are called. Many, many are, are called. called. Few are chosen. Few, Few are, are chosen. chosen. Many people was called and did not hearken. And they still in this truth right now. As I, always, as I always say, I heard before. You may be in the truth, but does not mean the truth is in you. Mm. Read that again. Then who shall hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning? If the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his head. Your own blood will be upon okay. your head. It's, it's your fault. Ain't nobody fault. Ain't the Mashiach fault. It ain't your congregation fault. It ain't your teacher fault. It ain't your elder fault. It's your fault you ain't here to call. Them. It's your fault you ain't want to uh, adhere to the commandments. It's your fault that you didn't love your brother as you love yourself. It's your fault you didn't love y'all with all your heart, mind, and soul. You can't blame nobody at the end. You can't blame your husband. You can't blame your wife. Children, you can't blame your parents. Because it's going to get to a point you know better. That's right. Come on. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. It took not warning. Simpleton. Come on. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Ooh-wee. Come on. But if the watchman see the sword come come and blow not the trumpet, mm. and the people be not warned. Okay, so now, brothers, you have been called. Mm. Once again. To what? Call the sheep back into the house of Yah. And this is your duty. Now, do we got to stand on the street block and do it? No. You got to be on YouTube to do it. No. Facebook, Instagram? No. You can simply warn the people by how you act. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you ain't got to say nothing to nobody. You can just be an example. Biggest way. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, you transition your people around you first. Mm -hmm. How many people around y'all done, done run into the truth by your actions? Mm -hmm. That means obviously they ain't see no change in you. Wait, if not even that. one person question what you're doing. That's right. Say what you, what you say to you? I was saying that you, you should be an example to your people mm -hmm. around you. And so if it's not one person around you trying to figure out what you're doing, that means obviously you ain't changing. And you ain't been an example. Yes. We are an example even to the same Jews because they're now on the streets teaching. Right. With their women and their daughters and their sons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, mine is 6 to 16. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 16, mm -hmm. it reads, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way, and see, and ask for the old path. So we both be asking for the old path. What do we do? Where are we successful at in the old path, right? Come on. Mm -hmm. Where is the good way? Watch it. Where is the good way, right? And walk therein. And so we support. Once we figure out what's the good way, we're supposed to walk in that path. Come on. And you shall find rest for your souls. And this is how you find rest. Right, because the scriptures tell you in First Kings, what? If we have compassion, right, and we pray to the Most High, even those who are against us shall have compassion on us. Come on. But they said, we will not walk therein. <laughs> Israel is ignorant. Hey, Israel don't care, bro. I mean, we got people out here teaching that you can have fruitfulness on the Sabbath. We got here... Hey, people breaking the Sabbath willfully. We got people just shaming y'all. As uh, Elder Asa would say, we got people who, who change costumes like that. <laughs> Not really having it. We don't have the fringe on our heart. We just got it on our garment. We got we got physical circumcision. We ain't got spiritual service. We want to practice all the physical things but never tap into the spiritual things of y'all. And this is why Mashiach had to come back. To show these Negroes, you got to have the spirit of the law in you. Not just the law, but the spirit of the law. Because if you knew the law, the spirit side of the law, you would not have to teach your neighbor anymore. Y'all follow me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, let's read that again. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the way and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. 17. Also I will set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. So he sent watchmen amongst us to say, look for the sound. Right? Do what we have to do now so we can hear the sign very clearly, right? Come on. But they said, we will not hearken. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Israel said, we will not hearken. You can tell us all that mumbo jumbo about keeping the commandments, but we ain't trying to hear that. We try, we try to be like the heathen. Yep. We, we need a king. We need a king, Father. Send us that. Israel, but I tell you. Come on. Therefore hear, ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Mm. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people. I will bring evil upon these people, even what? Even the fruit of their thoughts. Woo-wee! Mm. Ooh, read that again. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people. I will bring people. evil upon these people. Even the fruit of their thoughts. Even the fruit of your thoughts. Y'all ever had a good thought, all of a sudden you start thinking about something negative? Yeah. <laughs> you be like, brother, what you want? How did you just think about that? <laughs> Where did that come from? I wasn't even looking at that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. Because they have not hearkened unto my word. Because they have not what? Hearkened unto my word. Come on. Nor to my law. Nor to my law. But what? But rejected. Are you going to hear the call? Are y'all going to hear the call? Are you going to get yourself in line? This world is going to be finished, whether you like it or not. This kingdom, this nation is going to be finished. They have inherited it. Hallelujah. It's hallelujah, but you better hope you ain't on that other side of y'all. <laughs> For real. There's nothing you can do, so the only thing we should be doing is what? Focusing on ourselves. Stop so much focusing on Gentiles. Because if they if they in the right spirit, they'll cleave on to you anyway. And we gotta make sure when we get into the kingdom that we don't lose the kingdom again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm gonna end it with this. Right, let's go to first Maccabees. First Maccabees two and fifty. First Maccabees two and fifty. Y'all all gonna go down. 
First Mac and cheese, two and fifty. It's in the pocket. <laughs> and then somebody give me Baruch 4 and 1, huh? Alright, All right, go ahead. Somebody give me Baruch 4 and 1. Go ahead. Right. Now, therefore, my sons. Be my sons, be what? Be ye zealous. Be ye zealous. Come on. Twelve of all. And give your lives for the covenant of your father. And give what? Your lives. Say it again. Give your what? Your lives. For what? The covenant, for the covenant of your father. Come on. Call to remembrance with X. Our fathers did in their time. Mm. So shall ye receive great honor. And, and what? In the everlasting name. What's the everlasting name? What's going to be on our foreheads? The new name. The new name. This is the everlasting name we're going to inherit. If we remember and keep the acts and covenant of our fathers. Abraham did not have this faith for himself. He knew what was to come for us. And so he did what he had to do in that time for us today. So let's thank Father Abraham for that. So the question is, what are you going to do for your children's children's children? Because somebody who didn't even know you did it for you. Come on. Was not Abraham found faithful when he changed... Um Temptation. Ooh -wee. Come on. And it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Yep. Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord in Egypt. Look at that. We know what Joseph had to, had to endure. A woman who was the wife of the Pharaoh tried to make him commit adultery. How many of y'all have been tempted with a woman? And you fell. Got real quiet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Phineas, our father, and uh, being Zealous. 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 Uh huh. And Fer uh, Ferguson. Uh huh. I'll train the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Come on. And who? Come on. Uh, Jesus fulfilling. And Yehoshua. Yeah, Yehoshua. I even want to say that. Yehoshua fulfilling the word was made of judge in Israel. Come on. Caleb for bearing witness before the congregation to uh -huh. see the heritage of the land. David for being merciful possessed the throne of the everlasting king. So he's pretty much going through the acts of what saved these men and gave them salvation or a greater reward. What are you willing to sacrifice and give to hear the calling of Yah to receive more than what you got now? We are in the time of the calling, bro. You either gonna be transitioned from leaving something or going into something. Or are, but are you gonna accept it? Come on. He lies for being zealous and fervent, for the law was taken up into heaven. Come on, speak aloud. These are forefathers. Speak what they did. Come on. Anias, Azarus, Bizael, and Belief. Uh, By believing. We're saved out of, the, uh, out of the flame. How many of y'all getting saved out your flame? <laughs> you going through the flame right now. You trying to figure each and every way on how to get out of it, except having faith in y'all. Come on. Daniel, for his innocence, was delivered by the mouth of the lions. And thus consider ye throughout all the ages of that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Woo -wee. Come on. Fear not. Then the words of the sinful man, mm. for his glory shall be done. And dung and worm. This is the this is the blessing of a sinful man. Dung and worm. Y'all know what dung is? Ooh, ooh. Cow. Ooh. Ooh. I say, you gonna be ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Today he shall be lifted up into the moral. I mean, and to moral, he shall not be found. Why? Because. He is return. He is returning to his dust and his throughout his thoughts. His thoughts is to come. It's come to nothing. This is what the sinful man has inherited. Come on. Work for you, my son. My sons, come on. Be valiant. Be what? Be valiant. Come on. And shoot your slaves, your sleeves, men, in the behalf of the law. In the behalf of what? In the law. Come on. For by it shall you obtain glory. By this you shall obtain glory, y'all. 
and behold, I know that. Stop right there. Baruch 4, 4 and 1. This. Come on, you got to speak this out loud. This is about to hit home for some of y'all. Come on. Come on, Al. This is the book of the commandments of Elohim. That's right. Come on, bring it on. And the law that endured forever. Come on. All that oh, breath shall come to life. Come on. Come on. But such as leave it shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Y'all gonna leave the most high? No. 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 Y'all gonna leave the most high? No. Y'all gonna leave the most high? No. no. Come on. Turn thee, O Yaakov. Come on, turn thee. Take Yaakov. hold of it. Come on. Walk in the presence of light. Walk in what? The, the presence of light. Come on. Thereof that thou mayest be illuminated. That what? Be illuminated. We children of light, y'all. Walk in it. Be proud of it. Come on. Give not thy honor to another. Give not thy honor to another. Nor the things that are profited unto thee to a strange nation. To a what? To a strange How nation. Many, who, who called off work today for this piece? All praise. Give me all praise. And the most God is going to reward you. It may not be right now. It may not be tomorrow. But he's going to reward you because you stood up for righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Oh Israel! Oh Israel! Happy are we? Happy what? Are we? Come on! For things that use pleasing Elohim are made known unto us. Unto what? Unto us. Unto what? Unto us. You gonna go to verse five? Come on! Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer, y'all. It's almost done. Hallelujah! It's almost over. Come on! My people. My people. The memorial of Israel. Come on! You were sold to the nations. You were sold. Remember this. You were sold. Not for them, but for your iniquities. Remember this. Come on. Not for your destruction. Come on. But because you moved Elohim to wrath. So remember this. You moved Elohim to wrath. Are you going to hear the calling on what needs to change in a nation's life? Do y'all understand this? Are you doing... What Yah has called you to do so we can get back to the kingdom. Listen, man, the gates of heaven is open right now. The Most High is listening to what we're talking about. He's going to charge each and every one of y'all for agreeing with this message. So, what y'all going to do? What y'all going to do? Come on. For he provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. Everybody says, Slach Lanu. Salah Lanu. Salah Lanu. Lanu. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive our forefathers for their sins. Forgive our forefathers for their sins. Come on, man. And not to Elohim. Uh-huh. You have forgotten the everlasting Elohim that brought you up. Uh-huh. And he have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Right. Your mother is oh. crying. Your mother is crying. How many of y'all ever seen your mother cry? Your real mother. I hate it, right? And it tear you up. Your mother is crying for you. Y'all realize Jerusalem is praying for us? She's praying for us. You can read in Lamentations. You can read through Baruch. She is praying for us to return. That's just. Exactly. It's time for us to come back home. Everybody say, Baruch Abba. Baruch Abba. Welcome. Welcome. Most I say, welcome. Are you going to go into the door or not? Come on, you read. For when she saw the wrath of Elohim come upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Sion. Mm. O Elohim hath brought upon me great mourning. Mm. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters. Wait, wait, wait. Your mother saw the captivity of her sons and daughters. She saw y'all getting chained. She saw y'all getting dragged. She saw y'all getting killed. She saw a woman getting abused. She saw all that. Come on. Which the everlasting brought upon them with joy did I nourish them, uh -huh. but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Right. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow and forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of Elohim. Not right there. And we're going to leave it right there. The fifth commandment is what? Honor thy father. Are we going to honor our Abba, yeah, and our mother Jerusalem? 
with how they have nourished, nourished and brought us up. It's time, y'all. It's time we go back home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do that tonight with praise and joy. Let's give it a round of applause for now. So that is what, what Feast of Trumpets is, is to hear the call, to cry out to the Most High, to praise Him with a mighty voice. Your voice itself is a trumpet full of vibrations that can even speak life or death. But from this point, we're going to speak life, right? Hallelujah. Like the way everybody's mind operates is different. And me personally, in order for me to fully walk in my calling, I had to realize that I was chosen. So I want everybody, like everybody, to realize that the creator of heaven and earth, like the creator of the sun, moon, and the stars, volcanoes, games, great animals, great fish. Mm -hmm. You see how big some of these animals are? <laughs> the creator who created that chose our race, our nationality, our bloodline to look like him. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I said, I look like the Elohim. Literally, and not in a contentious way, but just realize how great your calling is. Even if you don't have a calling, the fact that you are one of us is a calling. Please don't, please don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted, seriously. When you sin and think of that, like, would a, would a king or a princess sin in this moment? Mm -hmm. we, we are royalty. Like, look down on sin. Spit at sin. Literally, like, that's all I want to say. Just, yeah. just to, to add on to that, like, he said, out of, out of all of these animals, he said, we're going to be the ones to judge angels. Mm -hmm. That's right. Like angels, like Mikael. We're going to judge Mikael. We're going to judge Great. We're going to judge Uranus. You don't understand that power? It's power, bro. Mm -hmm. The same person who all of the prophets fear down and fear, they probably look at us like, what are y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Y'all know who you are? You scared of me? I'm scared of you. Right. You give a command and I'm finished. So why? I'm, we got to understand our statue with the most high. Yeah. Yeah. He built a whole globe for us. Okay. A globe. Usually... What do y'all what do we do? We got we bring home a crib, we bring home some diapers, have a baby shower, then our child is born. He said, no, I'm, I'm gonna create a whole earth. Mm. Animal. I'm gonna create a sun. I'm gonna create a moon, stars. That's, that serves you. That serves you. Medicine from the earth, just so that you're okay and that you can be sustained. I wanna ask, like, who really got faith in the most high? Get Matthew 25. I'm at Matthew 6 and 25. Let's read this. We're about to see. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. So, uh, so when, um, when Christ called Peter and the rest of the disciples, these men had businesses. Remember, Peter, they, they fished up 5,000 fish that Christ sent. Now, of course, it was Christ that brought all the fish, but they had to have the skill to bring that up. So these were skillful men in their profession. And Christ just had to say one sentence, and they left. Who's ready to leave their job tomorrow, not knowing what your children are going to eat or if you're going to have rent tomorrow for this month? Who's ready to do that right now at this second? Raise your hand. Got to be. Yeah. Keep going. It's not, it's not the life more than meat. And the body more than clothing. Now remember, he don't. He's he's not gonna sit at your bed stool. Remember that he ain't gonna sit at your bed stool and just talk to you. Hey, I really need you to leave everything right now and follow me. He's gonna give you signs. So who's really gonna lean on signs to leave their whole household? What your what is my child gonna eat though? I got rent to pay. I'm gonna lose everything. My whole family gonna be on the streets. I'm confused. I want to really ready for that. Right. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap. Alright. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather in barns, yet your heavenly father feedeth them. 
Are you not much better than they? Mm. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto the statue? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of you. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What ye shall eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. He know this already. He know your rent got to be paid, bro. He Maybe he it. don't want you to pay. Maybe he got something else in store, but but you want to hold on to that job and hold on to the, that car and hold on to it because you got to feed the children. Little do you know that you blocking your own blessing. But seek ye the seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and His righteousness, which is His law. And all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take the thought for the things of itself. Mm -hmm. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. I just want to know who read it. People say they got faith all day. Until it's tried. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 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 So with that, we say Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Happy peace and trust. I'll pray for you. Thank you.